Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our female character tutorial series. In this video, we're getting our character ready and setting up the scene in Marvelous Designer to create her clothes. So let's jump right in. So here is the character model we created in the earlier episodes. If you missed them, please check them out. The links are in the description below. Now we need to export this model for Marvelous Designer. But first it's crucial to put the character into either an A-pose or a T-pose. Marvelous Designer won't properly recognize or simulate clothing on a character that's in a regular normal pose. For our character, I'm going to pose her in an A-pose. I'll switch to the front view, then drag and select the faces on the finger. And with symmetry active on x-axis, I can work on both sides simultaneously. Now I'll increase the selection by pressing shift and greater than key to grab the faces of the entire hand. I'll increase the selection up to this point, then deselect the extra faces by pressing the control key. Next I'll press E to get the rotate tool. Now by holding D and V, I'll snap the pivot to the armpit area. Finally, I'll rotate it on the Z-axis to spread out the arms and create the A-pose. This much rotation should do the trick. Now I'll smooth out the shoulder area by applying Edit Edge Flow on these edges. That's looking good. Now I'll drag and select all the mesh, then press Ctrl G to group them. In the outliner, you can see that this group 7 is my main character model group. I don't need this empty group here, so I'll delete it. Just so you know, group 6 is for the shoes, coming in the next episode, and group 7 is our primary character model. And now, before exporting I'll select the preferences option in the bottom right corner. Go to settings and check the unit. By default, it's set to centimeters. I'll keep it like that, but remember this unit as we have to set the exact same unit in Marvelous Designer. Now I'll select the group and grab the scale tool. The pivot is currently set to the grid. I'll increase the scale of the group so the entire character scales up from there. Let's make it quite big. I'll set the scale value to 5. A larger scale like that helps prevent cloth simulation errors in Marvelous Designer. And now, finally, it's time to export the character. Let's drag and select all the mesh, go to File and select Export Selection. I'll pick the location where I want to save the file. Make sure your file type is FBX Export, and let's name this file as per your own preference. Then just hit Export Selection. Now that the character is exported, let's head into Marvelous Designer to import the model and finally start designing the outfit. So here we are in Marvelous Designer. 
For those of you who are new here or just don't know what it is, Marvelous Designer is an amazing tool for creating incredibly realistic 3D clothing and fabrics. If this is your first time opening it, don't worry. I'll walk you through all the basics so you can start building and simulating your own garments in no time. Let's get right to it. So this is the interface when you first open the software. Let's take a quick tour of the Marvelous Designer layout. On the left side, we have our 3D window. This is where the clothing actually comes to life on the avatar. On the right side, we've got the 2D pattern window, where we'll be creating and editing all of our garment shapes. Over here, we have the default garments and avatars you can use when starting out. I won't be using those for this video, so I'm just going to click this little arrow to tuck the library away and give us more workspace. Now for navigating in the 3D window, I'm using the exact same settings we use in Autodesk Maya. This is really cool. We can actually change the navigation settings based on our preferred software. To change yours, go up to Settings slash Preferences, then to Preferences, and from here select Controls. Now you can choose any option from this drop-down menu. Since I'm a Maya user, I like to set it to Maya, but you can pick whichever one you're most comfortable with. And now I can navigate the 3D window exactly like I do in Maya. And also in the 2D pattern window, we can navigate just like we do in the UV editor in Maya. Now that we are all set to start, it's time to bring in our female character model right here. Let's go to File, then to Import. Make sure you don't select Import Add, just select Import, then choose FBX. Now navigate to the file you exported from Maya, select it, and click Open. Now, we need to set this menu carefully. I'll just hit reset to bring back the default settings. As you can see, the scale is set to mm by default. We must change this to cm to match the units we used when exporting the model from Maya. In the object panel, make sure to turn off the top three options and keep only automatically add arrangement points turned on. I'll show you what those arrangement points are in a moment. Just ensure these settings are correct, then hit OK. That's great, we've successfully imported our female character. Now let's take a look at those arrangement points we set automatically. If you hover your mouse up here, you'll see the option show arrangement points. Let's click it. You can now see these blue dots surrounding the model. These are the points that help us quickly arrange and snap garments onto the avatar without having to manually place every piece. However, these points only work perfectly for characters that are either in A-pose or in a T-pose. They won't work correctly on characters in a relaxed or asymmetrical pose. That's why setting the A-pose or T-pose is so crucial before exporting. So let's turn off the arrangement points here. You can also turn off the avatar temporarily if you need to. That's great, everything is working perfectly, and we are all set to create clothes for our character. And that's a wrap for episode 6 of our female character modeling series. In the next episode, we'll dive right into creating the full outfit for our model. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. Got any questions? Just drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this video. Happy modeling, and I'll see you in the next one.